It's another day in the fish room. I did something that I haven't done in a long time, which is actually order fish. So we've got new fish coming in tomorrow. Problem is I don't have any room for them, believe it or not. So I do have one tank that I have to completely break down. And I know I have a bunch of other things to do today because I don't get as much time in the fish room now with the store open. So let's get started. Here's the tank that needs to be broken down. The only fish that's in here is a good size, uh, super red bristle nose who's kind of hiding out right over there. So I need to grab him and get him out of here. Uh, completely overgrown with uh, salvinia floating up top, which is blocking a ton of the light. And we've got some jungle val, and there's a ton of detritus here. I want to just, you know, gravel back this really good, take out all the plants, the wood, the rock, completely rescape it. And if we're looking right next door, we could actually see a fish I haven't updated in a long time. These are the blue dragon guppies. Let's see if I could get a, a male, a nice male. These I only had females and had to wait for males to sex out and see if they bred true, which they do for the most part. Just trying to probably have to show them again once I trim all of this Pogostemus thos octopus because a lot of the tanks are overgrown just because I don't have a lot of time to do some trimming. Got a nice gravel vacuing. It's kind of really foggy right now, but that'll clear up, I'm sure. But in the meantime, I'm actually gonna go through some of the spider wood on slate. I had bought this to put on the website, but before I do, I'm just gonna pick some pieces I like, see what fits here, and do a little a little scape. It's gonna be a grow out for what's going in there. So I just want it to look nice while those fish are growing out. So here's the final look here. I got one of the spiderwood pieces and I added some zebra rock, which I also have on the website. And I just took some of the pogo stem and salas octopus and just planted it and that's it. It's very simple scape. I think it'll um, really showcase the fish going in here and the wood, uh, some of the fish that are going in here will appreciate that. Let me see if I can get a better look at some of these blue dragons there. There's a really nice male. Having a hard time focusing on him. But these guys are doing great. I think I started with a trio of them and uh, they've obviously grown in numbers kind of in the background as I'm just coming in, feeding and leaving just because I run to the store and spend all day at the store. But yeah, keep an eye out for um, the unboxing video of these guys, uh, the fish coming in here. Here's an update on the long thin white clouds that we moved over. See, we already got some fry, which is nice. I think it's gonna be a lot, because this is just a ton of java moss. And then I've got my selected breeders on this side, hopefully laying a ton of eggs in this java moss. Kind of see that breeding behavior already. There's some sparring between the males. The rest of my adult group, I found a tank for them and they're doing really well in this pearl weed. These guys are really great. A lot of people do them in ponds and I've noticed the long fins, the top down view on them is really good. I'm still working on these golds in here. Again, all the same line. So that one, that one there looks kind of long fin. Yeah, I might consider that one long fin. So I might do a separate breeding project with all the golds and put them in there and see what I get out of that. I think you're not able to just breed long fin golds. Obviously, I think someone would have done it already. Uh, you might just have to get it indirectly, like how I'm doing. I'm just doing uh, different spawns of my regular long fin line that are throwing the golds. Yeah, those look really good. I'll try it anyway, just to see what I get can't beat first-hand experience versus just reading on the internet. And while I was working down here, these platinum pearl scale angelfish actually laid their first batch of eggs finally. I've been growing these guys out for several months. I have six of them total, and then I saw these guys in the 75 starting to do some breeding behavior, so I pulled them. And looks like I was right. They were trying to lay some eggs and that's really exciting. 
We've already got another batch of the uh, Super Red Koi Angelfish. These guys are at the wiggler stage. So they're just about ready to be moved. I like to move them. I give them, once they kind of fall off the slate and hit the bottom of the space is when I move them into a bigger tank and kind of let them start free swimming. I have this tank with the Java Fern on wood ready for those guys. And we've got a grow out batch of the super red koi's. Very high orange coverage. And we've got a lot of long, thin bristle nose growing really nice. I like the white tips that they have. And then we have some Vienna guppies in here too. Um, a drop that I let a female drop in here and then pulled her. I don't think I got a single female out of this drop. I think I have like seven fry that made it and all of them are male somehow. So bad luck there, but I'll keep working on it. I think the last thing I'm going to do today is take care of this top row of tanks. So these were the shrimp tanks and for some reason I just don't have success with shrimp when I do a shrimp only tank. If I throw them in with guppies and just kind of let them do their thing, they just will reproduce like crazy. Of course there's none in here right now, but there's at least 50 plus yellow shrimp in here with the Vienna guppies. And I've got a ton of cherry shrimp in this tank with 24 karat golds. So I don't know what it is. I got to figure that out. Uh, but what I want to do here is do all my quarries. And I've realized with the store that we just have a really hard time finding good quarries. So here I've got my black Corydoras. I've got Sturbines and Albinos. And I just can't get a good source. I order them and they come in really, really small, like I would say less than a month old, and then I lose them. Um, or I will get them in at a decent size and they're just, they just are not, I don't know if it's the transport or with delayed fright, flights and COVID, not sure what it is, but I'll just breed them myself. Uh, something that I didn't think I would have to do, but the albino quarries will throw like a hundred eggs and I could raise those myself to a good size and sell it to myself at the store and can't be that uh, quality, just locally bred in the same water as all the other customers I think will be really great. Got this great site with all this duckweed. I'm just completely breaking it down. They're gonna be bare bottom anyway, so I'm just gonna toss this Eco Complete and I have to like rinse out this mat and filter probably a hundred times to get all that duckweed out. I was able to catch out a lot of shrimp that I didn't know I had just because those tanks were covered in duckweed and algae just because I had let them go. Lots of beautiful uh, yellow shrimp and we've got a whole starter colony of the orange shrimp. So I'm gonna have to carefully transfer these guys to another tank. I'll probably do them with guppies because that's where they seem to explode and both of these are big enough group to kind of get a colony started and just let them kind of reproduce in the background and usually what happens is one day I look up and there's like 50 shrimp in there and I can sell a couple so that's always good. I'm gonna drop the yellows in here with the Luke Roebuck red guppies and the long fin super reds. This tank has been getting a ton of food lately so I think that they'll be perfect for cleaning up and if they breed in here great if they don't that's fine they look pretty I have three other tanks of the yellows going on. But the Super Reds are doing really well in here. They're not shy at all. They come up for feeding time. They're getting a lot more food in this tank than they were before. So hopefully they grow a lot faster and are able to start breeding soon. All right, got all four of these done. Uh, it took me much longer than I thought. Duckweed is terrible, as most of you know. I'm not going to add fish right away just because I had to take these tanks outside and hose them off and hose the mat and filters. So I'm pretty sure I destroyed all the beneficial bacteria. So we're going to have to restart those by adding the uh, Fritz Turbo Boost in there, uh, which I'm going to go grab at the store and then give it probably a day or two before I add fish. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.